Here we have a sculpture by Alfonso Ianelli. This is one of the earliest pieces in the exhibition. The original piece was a plaster sculpture, which was created in 1908. Uh, this bronze cast was done much later in 1996. Now, Ianelli uh, and his wife, Margaret, were both artists. They came to Chicago from Los Angeles around 1915 and uh, settled in Park Ridge, where they kept a studio uh, for many, many years. And Ianelli, is, as a sculptor, is most famous for his work with Frank Lloyd Wright. He worked on the, uh, the Midway Gardens with Frank Lloyd Wright and designed the sprite figure, which if you're familiar with Frank Lloyd Wright's history, is a fairly iconic figure. And Ian Ellie was the designer of that. And it's known for its very angular kind of art, uh, 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 prairie school uh, uh, design. This piece is, as you say, is an early piece by Ian Ellie, and it's really kind of harkening back to the 19th century. Uh, this is a piece, the original the plaster he did was done in New York when he was a student. And um, what it invokes is the whole sensibility of, of the symbolist artist of the 19th century, a little bit of the Art Nouveau of the 19th century as well, these uh, very fluid, elongated, elegant forms. But, uh, and the piece is called Spring. That was the title of the original plaster. So it suggests that it's probably an allegory of the seasons of spring, or it might be an allegory of a spring, of like a water spring. We're not really sure, but probably the season. But um, where have we seen figures like this before? Um, as an allegory of something, it starts to enter into the mythological realm. And so for me, at least, it, I start to think of things like water nymphs, mermaids, sirens, you know, these mythological creatures that live under the water, sort of live under the subconscious realm, and periodically emerge out into the open air, uh, oftentimes to enchant us, to lure us into their realm. This is something the symbolist and, and really, uh, really explored within their work. And the figure of the woman, uh, the feminine figure, oftentimes had um, this mythological allure, uh, this creature from another world. Uh, it was a lot of place hunt women, but that's what they really loved to do, was to make those associations of uh, nature, the underworld, uh, uh, creatures from another world uh, as feminine figures. And, and the other thing that we notice about her is she's um, this, I would say, and don't try this at home, but see if you can hold that pose. It's, there is something about it that is got this wonderful twist to it, uh, that she's kind of rising up. Um, but she is uh, almost kind of emaciated. You know, she's got these bony thighs and, and this long, almost emaciated body to her. There's another quality to her that it feels that she is uh, somewhat like a creature. The word that comes to mind is wraith, this, uh, this uh, element, elemental creature that is pulled from the underworld that comes out to us uh, in the presence of this, of, of this creature right here. And this is something that the symbolists were very, very interested in, in, is this idea of nature personified as a human that becomes a creature that is both existing within our world and existing in another world that is uh, perhaps a threat, that is perhaps uh, a place that uh, will lure us and seduce us into a point where we can never return to the place that we know.